three champion. Starting in lane four, Danielle Shaw. In lane five, hot off the fourth fastest hurdles type all time in Australia. From New South Wales, Liz Clay. In lane six, the reigning national champion, Celeste Mucci. That's right. Our hurdles. Lane seven, Commonwealth Games finalist. On the start line, Carla Tachi in two, Letitia Willis in three, Daniel Shaw in four, Liz Klein in five, eight, Celeste Mucci in six, Brianna Bean in seven, Abby Tadeo in eight, Isabella Reeves out in lane nine. In lane nine, Silver Medal, the national under 20 championships last year from Western Australia. Isabella Reeves. These are your starters in the women's 100 meter hurdles. So keep an eye on five, six, and seven. Clay, Mucci, and Bean. Another so great start from Liz Clay. She's to first to her Tati on the outside running well. Here comes Bean though. She's into her stride. It's Clay and Bean going hurdle for hurdle. Mucci back into third. Who's going to take line on us here? Clay over the last hurdle first, and she's going to take the win there. 13 17. It on goes Clay, Bean, Moochie, one, two, three. 13, the wind wasn't favourable on this occasion. So this she's got a blinding start, didn't she, in Liz Clay? This domestic series. So she really sort of set it up, and she's now cemented herself as probably the favourite for this women's 100 hurdles leading into the rest of the summer and also nationals. Obviously, Bean went stride for stride through the majority of that race. It wasn't really till the last couple of hurdles that Clay just sort of got away from a little bit. Celeste really wasn't there from start to finish. She didn't have the start. And obviously, if you're out of it at the start, it's hard to sort of come back from that. And Liz is pretty happy with that. It probably would have been a little bit of pressure on Liz leading into this one just after the time she ran in Melbourne, coming here, knowing that you've got the fastest time and the others are trying to chase you down. And she obviously took that all in her stride and has come away with a great victory here in Canberra.